Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophel Akim. Let's preach the word in all truth and sincerity. Along with the Israelite foreigner brothers, that like the heathens. But the line of Falsag was back to the nation of Israel, which the nation of Israel are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So, this is Brother Yakal Amapa lesson, and on today's lesson will be entitled Cast Thy Burden Upon the Lord. You know, I just gonna go on some precepts, and I'm low willing, you brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, I'm gonna start off with the book of Psalms, chapter 55, and verse 22. And it reads, it says, cast thy burden upon the Lord Yahweh. That's right, man. You know, because the Lord, you know, has us go through hell and it's truth, man. You know, and I looked at that word of burden on Google. And it means, it says, a low, typically a heavy one, man. You know, and, you know, rather we go through a lot of tribulation and it's truth, man. Rather it be financially, you know, um, you know, brothers might be, you know, um, held back on their rent, you know, um, brothers may, you know, catch one with, with their woman, catch hell with their woman, you know, or their children, or their family, you know, uh, these demons is constantly plaguing our minds, man, with evil thoughts, you know, to try to sow doubt, you know, but, you know, at the end of the day, we got to cast all our burdens upon the Lord, Yahweh yeah, about Shema Shad, man. Because ultimately, the Lord is testing us to see of our, of our integrity, man. You know, it's the Lord, the Lord that put these afflictions upon us is going to be, will be the same one to deliver us out of, man. You know, and we have to always remember that because sometimes, you know, sometimes it can be hard, you know, to be concentrated in the spirit when just you just catching hell through all, all angles, man. You know, being troubled on every side, man. You know? But no matter what, man, you gotta put. We have to put the Lord first, and do the works first, man. And everything, the Lord's gonna have on the rest, you know. But it says, "And He shall sustain thee." That's right. Let's look at that word "sustain," you know. Um, sustain is from the Hebrew word "kawal." Kawal, which means uh, when you go right here, it says maintain, man. You know, nourish, support. You know, so the Lord's gonna. Endure. The Lord's going to put upon us the spirit of endurance to maintain, you know, uh, uh, these afflictions that we go through, man. You know, because a lot of things happen out of our uh, out of our own control, you know. But the Lord does that for a reason, so we can put our trust and faith in him so he can work miracles, man. You know, because if everything was always going good for us, and it's truth, you know, I mean, you know, what I mean is truth, I mean, like, you know, throughout your day life outside the truth. You know, if everything was going always normal, you know, then the Lord, you know, he doesn't, he can't really show his power, you know? So the Lord puts us in these, uh, in these low conditions, low estates to deliver us so we, so um, he can show, show his power to us, man, you know, and to increase our faith. You see, it says he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved, right? Because the elect, He's going to be grounded in the faith, man. Going to be well rooted in Yahweh Shai. And the elect, man, the Israel already counting the cost, man. They already knew once they come in the truth that they're going to catch hell, you know, according to Sirach 2 and 1. And let's, let's get that, you know. Uh, Sirach 2 and 1, it says, My son, if thou come and serve the Lord Yahweh, prepare thy soul for temptation. That's right, man. So, you know, when we come to serve you, how about Shimon Shai and all truth and sincerity, we got to prepare ourselves with temptation. Temptation meaning test, man. We're going to get tested a lot. You know, we're going to go through a lot of things that we've never been through before we came in the truth, man. You know, but ultimately that's our goal, being tried and fired, man. You know, but the Lord is ultimately building, been, building us up, you know, to be able to withstand and take us trouble, man. You know, and... So we can hasten the day more, so we can, so we won't be attached to things in the society, you know. 
So allure is, you know, that saying where, um, you know, you hit a, a bird with two stones, man. You know, the Lord is, is manifold with his wisdom, with his ways, man. You see? And it's easier said than done, man. You know? But the Lord always put us in these lower state conditions, you know, um, you know, continually, you know, so it could be second nature. When we go through afflictions, we automatically just, you know, trust in the Lord, man. But this is uh, 2nd Edges 14 and 14. It says, let go from the mortal thoughts. Right, man. You know, brothers that got children, man, you know, how my children going to eat, you know, um, you know, how I'm a, how they going to be delivered and take a trouble, how I'm going to eat, you know, oh, I just lost my job, how I'm going to pay my bills, you know, how I'm going to pay my landlord, you know, this this rent and brothers, you know, are late on their, you know, on their rent and stuff, you know, f having financial problems, you know, car issues, how I'm going to get to camp, you know, things of that sort. Those are mortal thoughts, man. You know, it says, cast away the burdens of men, but off now the weak nature, because really, that's a weak nature, man. You know, we can't be in a what ifs. You know, we have to know that the Lord will deliver me, man. And that's not real pride. That's with confidence. You know, that's with confidence and faith. Believing that the Lord can deliver us out of any situation, man. You know, because nothing is impossible with the Lord. All things are possible with Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. You know, it says, uh, verse 15, it says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, right? You know, because like I said earlier, you know, sometimes you can, whatever you're going through in this truth, man, it can, sometimes it can outweigh, you know, um, your thought patterns, man. And then, you, you know, sometimes you you can't really concentrate. You read, you can't really concentrate fully. And, you know, and sometimes it can be like that, man. But we have to understand that the Lord, you know, is testing us, brothers. You know, and the Lord is never going to put more on us that we can't handle. You know, so the things that we go do go through, the Lord knows we can handle it. You see? It says, and haste thee to flee from these times, man. It says, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter, right? You know, which is, you know, the plagues in Jacob's show, man, because if we can't, you know, get over these little, little you know, um, afflictions that we go through now, how much more in Jacob's trouble? You know, because it's going to be a famine, it's going to be pestilence, it's going to be race wars, it's going to be cannibalism. So if we can't handle the small stuff now, how much more for the big stuff in Jacob's trouble, man? You know? So the Lord is grooming us to prepare for Jacob's trouble. You see? Let's go to Sabbath 2 and 10. It says, look at the generation of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise thy call upon him? See, our forefathers, the true men of Yahweh Shemoshah that have power with the Lord, man, you know, they was never confounded. They was never forsaken, even though it seemed like they was, but the Lord always came through at the at, in the clutch, man. You know, the Lord always will come through Right when you think you know you 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 know you you you, you was defeated, but the Lord's gonna always make sure, you know, He puts that spirit. He he, he it's like the Lord's gonna make sure that you he's 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 he, he, a little it's like a little excited. The Lord's gonna make sure that He always comes through for His service, man. You know, it says verse verse eleven says, for the Lord Yahweh Shimon Shai is full of compassion and mercy. Long suffering and very pitiful, and forgive the sins and save in time of affliction, man. That's right, man. You know, so at the end of the day, the Lord knows what we're going through, Akim. You know, and the Lord just wants us to acknowledge Him first, put Him first. You know, pray to Him. You know, and of course, you know, we pray to the Lord, but the Lord also, I forgot to say this, the Lord also wants us to make that step forward as well. You know, sometimes we gotta, you know, it's, of course, it's all through faith, you know, when we pray to the Lord, but sometimes we have to make that that first step, man. You know, we have to go out on faith, on blind faith, and just, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, make the make the make the first move, and the Lord gonna have on the rest, man. 
You see? So, um, and off on these last couple of precepts, you know, the Lord God is Akin, you know. See, uh, this is uh, Matthew 6 and verse 26. It says, Behold the fowls of the air, which are the birds, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yeah, because the birds, they don't, they don't work, and then, you know, they don't, you know, reap and labor, uh, sow and labor and reap the benefits. They, they just live a peaceful life. You know, they, all they do is fly around the air and be in trees and stuff. It says, yet your heavenly father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? Yeah, so the heavenly father, he feeds them, you know, and we're way better than the animals, man. You know, we're over the animals. It says, verse 27, which are you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature, meaning, you know, uh, making your, uh, increasing your, your, your height span, you know. It says, and why take you thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil or not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if Yahweh was so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much clothe you, O ye little of faith? Right, so the Lord is going to take care of us, Akim. You know, this is, King David said, you know, the Lord, I am I'm yet old, and I, and I have never seen the righteous forsaken, or or the seed, or his seed begging bread. Let's just get that real quick, you know. Just got to get that. I want to misquote that. This is uh, Psalms 37, one of my favorite precepts. Psalms 37, 25, it says, I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen a righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Man, right, so the Lord, I mean King David, because this is Psalm King David, verse 1, he has never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread, man. You know, so the Lord's always going to take care of his servants, his elect, you know, you know that's serving him in all truth and sincerity, man, you know. And let's go back to Matthew 6 and uh, verse uh, uh, verse 31. It says, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or with wherewithal shall we be clothed? You know, and that goes into, as I read earlier, you know, casting off mortal thoughts. Why am I eat? You know, how are we going to eat? You take a trouble. How are we going to drink? You know, things of that sort. It says, for after all these things do the Gentiles see, which are the heathens. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things, man. Right? So at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashemoshai knows we need all these things, man. The Lord knows what we're going through. You know? It says, and he's going to be the same one to deliver us out of them temptations, man. It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of, of Yahweh and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. So, yeah, so basically, you know, putting your how about Shema side first, praying to him, you know, doing the works, you know, our daily sit downs, you know, going out on the highways and byways week in, week out, regardless of our um, situation, what's going on in our personal lives, man. You know, we got to put the Lord first, you know, and then he's going to add everything that we that we're lacking to us in the spirit, man, you know. So, yeah, when I was, you know, a quick lesson, I just want to do a um, lesson on that. Lord, when I act, was that if I, you know, cast our burden upon the Lord, I can, you know, the Lord, you know, will always provide for us, man. So, Lord, when I act, was that if I, and uh, until next time, shalom.